How can a nasal spray treat depression? I'm going to tell you all about Spravato. It's the world's only FDA-approved ketamine medication for depression. You've probably noticed that psychedelics have been getting a lot of attention over the last few years, and ketamine is just one synthetic molecule that can have psychedelic effects due to its disassociative properties. Well, ketamine has multiple routes of administration into the body, including by IV, intramuscular injection, and oral dissolving tablets. It's used within the healthcare establishment as an anesthetic, painkiller, and even to treat addiction. But only one type of ketamine has been approved by the FDA to treat depression, and that is a nasal spray called Spravato, which is also called esketamine. It's such an effective remedy for depression that the FDA awarded it the very rare breakthrough therapy status for treatment-resistant depression. This designation fast-tracked Spravato's regulatory green light so that it could be prescribed to patients as soon as possible due to it achieving substantial improvements compared to existing therapies such as SSRI antidepressants. So Bravato is now approved for on-label use to treat two kinds of depression. Many people with depression don't find sufficient relief from taking standard SSRIs. These people then get diagnosed with treatment-resistant depression, meaning that their depression symptoms weren't resolved by taking at least two different types of these antidepressants. In the past, there weren't many other options available other than ECT, which is electroconvulsive therapy, or trying some non-SSRI antidepressants presence that tend to have a higher side effect profile. And that's why Janssen, which is a division of Johnson & Johnson, develops Spravato. Compared to traditional SSRIs, Spravato activates different receptors and networks in the brain. It's got a completely unique mechanism of action. So Spravato is the S enantiomer of ketamine, meaning that it's the left side of the ketamine molecule pairing. It's administered as a nasal spray, but can only be given to patients in clinics that are officially enrolled in the FDA REMS program. REMS stands for Risk evaluation and mitigation strategy. And this basically ensures that approved clinics stick to the official protocols to keep patients safe and achieve the best possible outcomes. Since January 2025, Bravato can now be administered to patients with treatment-resistant depression as a monotherapy, meaning that they don't need to take antidepressant medications at the same time anymore. As well as being prescribed for patients with treatment-resistant depression, Bravato is also available to patients with major depressive disorder that are experiencing acute suicidal ideation or behavior at the same time. But in that case, they also need to be taking an oral antidepressant at the same time still. How does Spravato actually work? Spravato works by targeting glutamate. It's the brain's most abundant excitatory transmitter. It plays a role in learning, memory, and mood regulation. And glutamate specifically acts as a non-competitive NMDA receptor. It's an antagonist of that, meaning it attaches to a different part of the receptor than glutamate and modulates it rather than completely shutting it down. So by partially blocking that NMDA, receptor, Spravato helps rebalance glutamate signaling, which is thought to be disruptive to depression. This not only leads to a rapid antidepressant effect, but also boosts neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to adapt and rewire itself by forming new neural connections. Gradually over time, this rewiring can help break patterns of negative thinking and emotional distress, offering relief even when other treatments didn't work. It also has a neuroprotective effect, meaning it preserves the structural integrity and function of neurons, especially through reducing the rate that our neurons degenerate. Plus, it exhibits anti-inflammatory properties, for example, by reducing the production of inflammatory cytokines, which are linked to chronic stress. Many people that use Spravato often report swift improvement in their depressive symptoms and a reduction in their suicidal thoughts, and they have clearer thinking and more stable mood. Because Spravato is FDA approved for treating certain kinds of depression, it means it's undergone rigorous testing to ensure it's safe and effective for people with depression. And this FDA approval also means that many insurance plans provide in-network coverage for Spravato treatment. Spravato is the first and only psychedelic treatment and ketamine medicine to be legally approved and available to treat depression. Thanks again for watching and thanks to our sponsor, Marpa Minds, a network of next generation mental health clinics offering Spravato and ketamine treatment for depression. Go to marpaminds.com for more information.